Today I am anonymous. The American Republic is in a crisis of unimaginable proportions. The money supply is at an all-time high, negative interest rates, 1% savings rates, a student loan bubble, an unofficial unemployment rate of 24%, all-time high foreclosures, $17 trillion in national debt, and the list goes on. In 2008 when Bush declared a financial state of emergency he took $14 trillion from the American people and redistributed it to banks and financial institutions to ensure that they were liquid and would not fail. This crisis was the direct result of mortgage securities created by these very same institutions by lending to credit unworthy consumers or making unsound loans in second and third mortgages to money hungry and many times misled consumers. The mortgage loan securities bubble popped because these mortgage loans could not be paid and went into default. What was not discussed at the time and would have solved the problem and actually set up the most thriving economy in American history was never placed on the table. What was that you ask? The 14 trillion dollars used to pay the bankers could have been used to pay off every defaulted mortgage in the country. In theory it would have given the banks the cash they needed and would have kept millions of Americans in their homes. This would have given these Americans a financial reset. The cash would have replenished the liquidity of American banks and allowed unemployed Americans the margin of assistance they needed to recover and start fresh on a strong footing. Americans in default and still working would have been able to spend at a rate two times their previous spending thus boosting economic performance by record levels. Also, they would have been able to save for the first time in years and prevented the Federal Reserve from printing all this surplus money flooding the economy. They didn't do this because the mortgage securities were created without maintaining their ties to the various loans that they were created from. The banks were simply paid for inventories they had no record of. Thus this was the greatest fraud in American history. As Anonymous, we knew this but we owe the American people an apology. As you know we are a group of world-class hackers. We could have broke into the bank's computer systems and paid off every mortgage and student loan that was in distress or default. If we destroyed the payment details of all loans, the banks would have been forced to accept the loan status we created and used the money they were receiving from the Federal Reserve to balance their books instead of paying themselves with record bonuses. I apologize because we are a government psyop and and have never used our hacking skills for the benefit of the American people. We just want you and all Americans to feel that you don't have to do anything to defend your freedoms. We are Anonymous aka Superman and wanted you to think we had your back. Admit it people, it felt good believing that someone with superpowers was looking out for you. But the truth is we don't have your back and we never did. You are on your own and until you realize this you are going to suffer more and more losses until you find yourself living in a third world Mad Max scenario. I am Anonymous today and I am signing off.